All right, guys, this video is going to be all about AQA Chem Paper 2 predictions. Let's jump into this. So I'm going to do this one slightly differently to I did my AQA Paper 1 and AQA Bio Paper 1 and 2. I'm going to try and get it a lot shorter and sweeter. All right. So first things first, focus on high yield topics. Please watch this video first if you haven't. It goes over sort of my method and approach to exams and the analysis from 2017 to 2023. And that is where the high yield topics are living. Okay, so chem paper two, a lot of people think this is organics. Don't get it twisted, guys. There's a lot of physical chem in paper two. So that keep that in mind as well. Before we get into this, like the video, man. Show your boy some love. Subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. You don't have to do any of it, but it's greatly appreciated and it helps out the channel a lot. All right, so as I said, we're going to switch things up and do things slightly different. I've color coded the previous year. So 2023 is when I'm going to focus the majority of my time here. I'm not going to go through each individual subtopic and just guess. There's no point in doing that. I'm just wasting your time. OK, so basically what this tells you is green is it came up a lot. Red is it didn't come up at all. And yellow or amber is it came up a little bit right mid marks. OK, so the high yield topics that you want to be focusing it on are the ones in green. Okay, excluding energetics, we'll jump onto energetics a little bit later, but the ones in green, even though they had high mark allocation last year and they may not be this year, they do have a decent to high frequency and total marks, average marks per paper, all that stuff, okay? And remember, rate equations, amount of substance, carboxylic acids and derivatives, these can come up in paper three, okay? There's a decent amount of required practical knowledge required within these topics, okay? So they, as you can see here, there's a decent amount of reoccurrence that we get, okay? So even for whatever crazy reason, they don't come up in paper two, there's a high chance that they come up in paper three if that is the case, okay? So just keep that in mind, carboxylic acids and derivatives, there's two, well, there's one required practical, required practical 10, but it has two parts, so make sure you revise that, okay? Don't get it twisted again. Paper two does have practical knowledge involved. So make sure you brush up on your respective required practicals for these topics. And even if they're not present in paper two, keep in mind paper three. OK, so that's what we're going to do for this video. All right. Next thing to touch on is organic analysis and NMR, guys. So try and revise this if you can together. What they like to do is a lot of synoptic stuff. So you get the year one infrared stuff like that. And then you get some NMR stuff deducing the structures that kind of question, right? Then in organic analysis, you also have the tests, okay? The qualitative tests, so just keep that in mind. And that was the case in 2023 for organic analysis. All right, so try and revise these together. I'm not gonna spend any more time on the high yield topics, okay? Organic analysis and NMR came up a lot in 2023, so that may reduce this year. There is a chance of that happening, all right? And again, NMR is a tough topic. A lot of people struggle with it and it sucks up a lot of your exam time, okay? So keep that aspect in mind. If you really struggle with NMR, don't go too ham on it because it can be difficult, all right? But those are the high yields. Let's move on to the reds, okay? KC, so to my understanding, this didn't really come up or maybe it didn't come up at all in paper one, 2024. I haven't seen it, but it received zero marks last year, okay? We haven't received two subsequent years with zero marks. Of course, it can happen. They can do what they want, but when it does come up, guys, it's looking at mid marks or at mid to like low teen marks so it's pretty decent 9.8 on average across the years it's come up five times so i would be at my desk revising this you should have already done a decent amount of this feeding into kp for paper one okay so keep that in mind that is what i'd be doing there what have we got next for the reds we've got amino acids proteins and dna so as we can see here there's zero marks for 2023 what are we looking? What's 2023 saying? Uh, paper 3, 2023, 12 marks, okay? So when it didn't come up last year, they chucked all 12 of those marks into paper 3, section A. So I don't know if this one's going to come up this year. Obviously, you get four years back to back with it coming up and then two gaps. So there is a chance that it doesn't come up again, but we have not seen two years where it was absent back to back in paper two. So I'd be spending some time revising this one considering it was absent last year in paper two and they put it in paper three. OK, so that is my two cents for amino acids, proteins and DNA. A means what we're we looking at zero marks last year. The two marks before that were pretty low. 
four marks each and then a nothing, okay? So the last four years for amines has been pretty sparse, okay? And then the three years before that were pretty chunky. So I'd be revising amines myself. I would say this has a stronger chance of coming up than even amino acids, proteins, and DNA, but I'd be revising both of these considering they were absent last year. What's paper three saying for amines? Completely absent. All right, so it hasn't come up so far in paper three, section A. Obviously, it comes up here and there for the MCQs. MCQs, nothing special. And there's a decent amount for amino acids, proteins, and DNA in the MCQs, nothing crazy. But as you can see here, it pretty much comes up every year for at least one mark. Um, so that's my two cents on those two. I'd say I'd be revising them, might not come up, who knows. All right, and the next red we have here is halo alkanes, halogenic alkanes. Um, what we got, we got the last year was completely absent. And then two years back to back were absent in 2018 and 2019. And we also missed 2021. So there is a chance that this just doesn't come up this year because, you know, it has happened before where you receive zero marks two years in a row. But considering we've had the last three years, it's only had three marks collectively. I would be revising this, guys. It's basic year one content mechanisms and there's some intricate caveats that you need to know on the theory side of things. But I would be revising this one just in case. As we can see in 2017 and 2020 when it came up, it had pretty decent marks, okay? So I'd be revising this one myself. I don't know if it's gonna come up, but you never know. All right, chromatography. So chromatography's actually been absent for the last four years. Okay, what's paper three saying? So again, nothing here, nothing here, and then we had a little bit in 2021. Okay, what about section B? Nothing, okay. So chromatography is a pretty rare topic anyway. What they sometimes do is sort of apply the chromatography knowledge to amino acids, proteins, and DNA. That can happen, all right? But as we can see here, when it does come up, it's not the greatest marks, guys. Seven marks, four marks. But considering it's been absent for the last four years, and it's been absent, has it been absent in paper three? It only came up once in the last five years in paper three for the for the course section A, and then not at all for section B. I would be revising this one at least a little bit, but again, when it does come up, 5.5 .5 marks on average. Okay, nothing crazy. All right, next here we have bonding. So bonding has only come up one time in paper two, interestingly. What the reason for this is that I grouped any sort of bonding question against the respective organic functional group. So if it was a question about bonding in alcohols or bonding in alkenes or whatever it may be, I applied it to that topic. So when they do apply bonding knowledge questions to the organic side of things, I, I slotted it under those respective topics. So in terms of this bonding right here, this would have been one regarding the actual physical bonding. So I don't remember what the 2021 paper was like, but it may have been bond angles, shapes, structure and bonding, stuff like that. Okay, so it was one where I couldn't apply it to the functional groups. So bonding can definitely come up, guys. They do like to ask you questions, strengths, intermolecular forces of the different organic functional groups. So even though I have it absent here, please do be revising the intricate bonding knowledge of the actual functional groups, but don't stress about it on its own because it comes up when you're revising the topics as a whole anyway. All right, so that's my view of bonding there. Of course, it can come up as a standalone, but previously when it has, it only got four marks. Paper three, bonding had seven marks last year. So maybe it doesn't come up this year, who knows? I wouldn't spend too much time on this one. I'd be spending my time looking at the actual bonding within the functional groups. Okay, I'm gonna ignore isomerism, right? Because it's just like with bonding, isomerism is gonna to apply to the actual organic functional groups that are present rather than a standalone question. This one I couldn't apply to actually any functional groups. So I applied it to the year one isomerism topic. So I would say don't spend any time really revising isomerism on its own. Personally, I think that's a waste of time. You wanna be applying your isomerism knowledge to the different functional groups where it is relevant, alkenes, stuff like that, okay? And then obviously you have like chirality and stuff with organics that doesn't come under the isomerism topic. Okay, I've applied it to specific areas within the functional groups. Okay, within the functional group topics. All the ones that are in yellow or amber that received mid marks last year, kind of like toss a coin to be honest, like I have no idea. They could come up a decent amount, they could come up not at all. Work through this table yourself guys, use your own brain, your own logic. I'm not gonna spend any more time on this, Here's paper three, section A. Here's paper three, section B. Take those screenshots. Think about it yourself. 
Spend your revision time wisely because next week's an absolute mad one with back-to-back -back exams. I wish you all the best. Until next time, guys. Peace.